Hello you captains of the come sea. I'm returning to the 1990s and another legend in the post scream world. Four friends are out enjoying a ride after a night out. Things take a turn for the worse when they hit a guy. They think he's dead, so they discard the body. No one must breathe a word of this. And life goes on. A year has passed, but the past has risen. The dead never stay dead for long before it threatens to unravel lives. A stalker with a hook. Their world begins to crack. get your typical types in this situation. You get the one that assures, you get the one that wants to find the clues, you get the one that's, I can't do this! And then you get the macho guy with the short fuse whose behavior threatens them all. What starts out as fun and frolics ends in delirious despair. Now it sounds like your typical teen slasher but it's based in legend and literature and can be seen as wisdom and warning to those who may follow. Kevin Williamson wrote Scream, which ushered in a new era of teen slasher and scary movie. Williamson had a draft or a completed screenplay, I don't know which, that was based on the novel by Lois Duncan prior to Scream. And this felt like a logical next step. For its four stars, now your stereotypical beautiful people, this was the start of their careers. Jennifer Love Hewitt, who had previously been seen in Party of Five, would go on to be in Ghost Whisperer. And she had some success as a singer. Sarah Michelle Gellar, best remembered as Buffy the Vampire Slayer. She's married to Freddie Prince Jr. They both shared the screen in the live action version of Scooby-Doo with Scream actor Matthew Lillard. Prince has made some interesting career decisions. Video game voice of Lieutenant James in Mass Effect 3, Iron Bull in Dragon Age Inquisition, and has even worked for the WWE as a writer. Ryan Philippe has appeared in many high-profile movies, Flag of Our Fathers, Gosford Park, Crash, The Lincoln Lawyer, and he's also Reese Witherspoon's ex-husband. This is what you expect from the post-scream horror. Money, expensive bling, picturesque scenery, and shot with the most up-to-date lenses that give it a polished A-movie look. I had the luck of seeing this on the big screen in 1997 with my peers. It was like I was in America, given the reactions all around me. It's a great movie. The cinema experience enhances this. I haven't seen the sequels, but I don't feel like I need to. Barry, okay, why would he try to run you over? Why did he make coleslaw on Helen's head? He's fucking with us. Come on, Julie, let's go back to the house. Where's your jacket, Barry? Don't you see, he's got us now. Okay, this is exactly what he wants. We can't go to the police, not now. He's made sure of that. He's just out there and he's watching us and waiting. What are you waiting for, huh? 